Good morning. Today I'd like to visit with you about weed control and food plots. Before we get started in particular crops and what, how you might control weeds, we need to talk about weeds in general. There are two different kinds of weeds that we're going to be dealing with. Broadleaf weeds that have a broad leaf or grassy weeds that have a very narrow leaf. Both of these are going to be prevalent in a food plot situation and we need to design uh, our weed control method to deal with each species. Within our classification of broadleaf and grassy weeds, we can further divide those into weeds that come up early in the spring, which we call winter annuals, or weeds that come up during the summer, which we call summer annuals. The weeds that come up early in the season, we can generally kill before we start planting the food crops. However, summer annual weeds are going to emerge at the same time the food crop emerges. And so those are the weeds we're going to address in this segment of the presentation. There are several good tools that we can utilize for weed identification. I use two different textbooks, Weeds of the Great Plains and Weeds of the West. They have good descriptions of the common weeds that we find in this area and can be a good tool as you try to identify the weeds that you encounter in your food plots. I'd like to talk about two different situations with weed control in a particular crop. We have planted chicory in the spring. The chicory has emerged and we also have a problem with weeds within the chicory. At this stage, we're not going to be able to do much about removing the weeds from this chicory. The weeds are too big. About the only thing we could do to make the weeds not as unsightly would be to go in and mow it. But let's compare that to another situation where we have used a herbicide to control the weeds. Here we've planted the chicory in the spring and when the chicory was quite small, we came in with a selective herbicide. We applied the herbicide and it did an excellent job of controlling the broadleaf weeds that were present as the chicory emerged. So this situation is probably what most people would like to see. You have a nice stand of chicory with very little weed pressure. Selecting a herbicide to use in your food plot. You can utilize the guide for weed management that provides information on herbicides that are labeled for different crops. So if you're utilizing in your food plot a crop that is already commercially grown, the options of utilizing herbicides are much greater. We have herbicides that will control grassy weeds in broadleaf crops, or we have herbicides that will control broadleaf weeds in broadleaf crops. In some situations you may have an area that you anticipate having a lot of weeds in. Two ways to address that. One would be to go in in the fall of the year, till that area, allow the weeds to germinate over the winter and early spring, then come in and spray those weeds with Roundup, kill them, and then plant into that clean seed bed in the spring. A second approach would be to utilize a cover crop. You could plant a cover crop of a small grain such as oats, allow the oats to emerge. You will also get a lot of the summer annual weeds coming up at that time as well. Allow the oats to get about a foot and a half tall, then go in and spray them with Roundup you would kill the oats and kill existing weeds that emerged and then plant your food plot crop in between the rows of the cover crop. There are several different methods of weed control that can be utilized with food plots. Tillage at the time of planting. Control the weeds that are there and start off with a weed free seed bed. If you had a weed escapes you could go in and hand pull the weeds. A third method would be to utilize a herbicide that is selective to the crop. Three crops that are commonly used in food plots are grain sorghum, chicory, and 
fodder beets. These are all grown as commercial crops and so they have herbicides that are already approved for use on those crops.